Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, bringing you guys Mission 4 of our Bloons Tower Defense gameplay. Now, I know I missed Saturday, and I'm sorry about that, but let's get back on track with it, and uh, let's try and beat the next mission. Now, we're on to my favorite mission, it's the second intermediate one, and the reason it's my favorite is because we get to use my all-time, like, best tower that I actually game with, and that's the Monkey Buccaneer, which, by the way, sounds oddly like a sexual kind of thing. Don't don't ask me how that would work. But anyway, the real cool part about this map is, you guys know how I think the Monkey Buccaneer is probably the best tower of this entire game, and it, it really is, actually. There's, like, no, de in my opinion, there's almost no debating it, besides the Super Monkey. You can make an argument for the Super Monkey, but getting one of these ships is insane. They can literally win almost every single round for you, so all you gotta do is just build these, and then, uh, uh, make I would say first get him up to a uh, whatever it's called the um the ship the uh I can't think, the destroyer upgrade thank you the destroyer upgrade and then after that build one little cannon thing right here uh well I should probably show you guys I forgot you guys can't see my mouse right here with a like a cannon that way it takes out any lead balloons that may come your way and you'll pretty much be in the clear after that always remember to upgrade I almost just got into a little bit of trouble there because I forgot to upgrade. And, uh, yeah, so now all we have left is the destroyer upgrade, and we are set to go. Building three of them, and with the cannon, is, I think, I think there will be a couple more. We'll pretty much get you through the entire level, the entire game, that is, if you fully upgrade the cannon. Uh, you may need to build a couple more, but that won't be any problem at all, which is why I like this one. Money really isn't a problem. It's all just about tower placement, having a little fun like that, and, uh, yeah. So if you're wondering where I was Saturday, I was around, I just didn't film any Bloons Tower Defense because I was trying to focus on some other stuff, and like pretty much the live stream, and just, I took it as a day, not really to film, I only put up one video, more so as a day just to get the things done that I want to get done that I just, I don't have time for because I do videos. So I pretty much took the whole day to get everything straightened out, we got ready for the podcast last night, which in my opinion was very successful, I, I liked it a lot, I always love doing podcasts, and that was uh, episode 3, and uh, yeah, so we had everything set up, you know what I mean, did all that, and uh, we finally set up our runescape accounts as well it's kind of a joke because we're uh, gonna be doing a runescape playthrough so i finally got that set up and ready to go and uh if you're wondering what that's all about we're not actually going to be playing runescape for real we're literally just going to be fooling around the entire time and just playing it for jokes like we may spend the whole time like going into like the wilderness and fighting off like level like 90s with our like level four accounts or whatever or just trying to have a good time we're not like trying to be serious or anything like that so we, we think it'll be well received by you guys it's something like akin to like our K like kingdom for kefling series it really has no purpose at all, just all jokes, and uh, yeah, so hopefully that goes well. Oopsies, I did not mean to place a uh, attack thing right there. You don't need to put any kind of thing there. That, that was just accidental, so don't think like you know you have to do that. But here we go. Now that you have the destroyer, you can pretty much win the rest of these like uh, for a while. You can't win it forever, obviously, but for a very long while, you'll be able just to have that one tower. And the next tower you're going to build is Follow the Pineapple right there. That's where you're going to build the next uh, ship. You can either build the bomb tower or the ship first. I would suggest the bomb tower especially. That's just my opinion, though, of course people might want to do other things differently but um there's just no need for a ship at this point in time and i don't know exactly when the lead balloons come but um they're, they're a pain in the ass so you might just want to hurry up and do that and remember the trick guys when you build a bomb tower near the start always put him on strong so he fights off the um the lead balloons for you that's really the only reason he's there so make sure you have that and remember to do that otherwise you may run into trouble in the long run so now here's where you have to make a decision for yourself uh, I would suggest, because you can't get many of them, you have to build them early on, making, because there's only this room on this one island, uh, where is it, right here, over there in the bottom right hand corner, for about two different banana farms I think it was, let me see, it was one, yeah you can't fit a second there, it's two, yeah you can only fit two banana farms on this island, so I was just getting them early on, because you're going to have to upgrade them all the way that means, to get the same amount of impact as you would any other kind of uh, level, so really you got to move quick on them, that's got to be one of your top priorities, but at the same time you got to balance it with your, uh, with your other ships, like right now I'm not doing a good job balancing, so I need to go back and build my second ship, or at least start up on him, because he will do a lot of damage, you may be surprised, but just with the grape upgrade alone, which is his second upgrade, you you will be very satisfied with the damage he does. So put him right here, right about here. You want him to be able, well no, you can get him as far, hit him as close to that island as you can. I know he's missing the top tip up there, but that'll be easily like fixed once you, um, once you get his, one of his upgrades, what's it called, the, um, 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't think right now. There's an upgrade, though, that lets you see a little further. It comes right after faster shooting. I'm not sure the name of it. Oh, it's like like cannon or something like that, like long cannon or something. But uh, the point of it is, is that it shoots further. Here it is. Longer cannons. There we go. I was right. It was long cannon, longer cannons. Yeah, so that upgrade right there will allow you to hit C. Hold on. Ready? Bam, I can hit that whole area now. So you get the maximum area that you can actually hit them in, and uh, it really will make a big difference for you. See how the grapes are doing a lot of damage? It's because each one of them may only do one like hit point of damage, but the fact is it takes away a whole layer of a uh, balloon. So, I mean, you're pretty, much, you're pretty much set if you can set that up correctly. Oh god, here we go, we got the, uh, the lead balloons. Now, if you're not ready for them, you might need to get ready with your spike traps, but uh, hopefully you'll have yourself set up in a nice place that uh, you can get through them fairly easily. Now, I'm just going to, well, see, this is a tough decision. Do I want to destroy your upgrade next, or no? See, I'm not really quite sure. All I do know is I'm going to go upgrade these bananas all the way real quick. I'm going to see if I can make a straight shot at that without having to build any more towers or spike traps. I'm hoping, but uh, I doubt it. You know what? I'm going to take that off of fast forward. Yeah, good thing I took it off fast forward. Bad, bad times were coming right there, I'll tell you. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Bad boy. Bad boy. Uh, okay, destroyer. Yeah, I, I gave in. I had to buy the second destroyer. But look at that. It was well worth it. Oh, we got to get that for the uh, camo balloons. So now we have... Make sure to buy the one on the right. It doesn't look like it's good, and it really doesn't do much at all, but it does allow you to hit camo balloons, which is necessary because you don't have any towers that can at this point. Even if you just do it to one like that, one will be able to take care of any camo balloons you have to deal with. But, I mean, it's only $210. I would suggest getting it for both. See, maybe not early on, but once you have enough money, I, I would highly suggest just getting it for both. There's really no reason you shouldn't, but uh, I guess some people decide not to. Everyone has a different way of playing. So once we get this one right here, it generates 25 bananas per round. Just to give you the uh, the amount of money on that, that's $500 per round coming from a single unit, and you can upgrade it even more so that it gives you 10 boxes of 200. 10 boxes of 200. That is, you ready for this? It's $2,000 each round coming from a single one of those structures. It costs a ton of money, but it's really useful. The thing is, though, is that the amount of money it costs, you're better off just going through the banana farm like this right here, probably, for the beginning, because it's going to take you a while to be able to get that much money. But as time goes on, you could easily upgrade him again. So that's just my suggestion. I, I would suggest following that one. I know a lot of times I say, like, suggestions that you don't need to. I think this is one of them. I'm not going to lie, guys, making this balloon tower defense videos are probably the most fun videos I do on this channel for me. That or the um, draw my thing videos with the rest of the ASF crew. I love doing those videos. Oh, God, we're in trouble now. Yeah, now i got to start paying better attention. See how I uh, got a little cocky there and let myself uh, let them just get ahead of me? That's what happens when you don't pay too much attention. So we're going to stick one guy here. The reason being is he'll be able to hit people when they wrap around there. Well, at the same time, so I'm going to say this, i got to... You hit people in the wrap around here. Well, at the same time, hitting people over here. Once you get the uh, the uh, like radius upgrade, I guess you can call it, to hit a further area. So right there, see that now I'll be able to take out a few extra people. And um, I think one of our main problems is that this guy right here, he's not breaking enough of those uh, lead balloons that we need him to. So let's just put up the uh, that right there. Put a bunch of those, and yeah, there we go. We had to give our little uh, cannon balloon a little bit of help, but at least we know what the problem is with our uh, thing. The problem with our uh, setup is that our cannon balloon isn't doing enough damage to the lead balloons. So uh, hopefully we have that fixed with that latest upgrade. We're also going to do this, which is a uh, higher velocity, so we'll get it more impacts in per, uh, I guess, per second, you could say, like damage per second. So that'll help us out in the long run. And uh, yeah, so that'll do... Yeah, see how it's hitting those lead balloons now? So now we're, we're set up, really. And now we build that third destroyer, and that this is where things all start coming together. See, you kind of you're kind of set up in a place where you're, you're pretty much uh, going to be set. Although they will try and sneak their way through, as you see. So probably don't want to fast forward yet. Yeah. See, that's why you don't want to fast forward. You gotta you gotta have those uh, tacks ready to go because some of them will break through. And then once one breaks through, it's kind of like a frenzy. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can go with we can go with longer attack explosion and that that would probably be good and also guys why not if you really want just build a fourth ship I mean it's not gonna hurt you if you have another ship there you can really start building as much as you want I mean I I'm generating enough money now from these banana farms that upgrading doesn't have to be my top priority I still suggest you prioritize it a lot but um it doesn't have to be anywhere near a top priority by any way shape or form so let's go with that that and uh, I'm gonna save that one for now and yeah so we're, we're pretty much in there let's see we can build we either killed another destroyer, but uh, I'm going to wait, actually, 
and just get that final upgrade for the banana farm because it seems like we're fine. That's the thing. It's all about upgrading banana farms. It's all based on how you're doing in the game. If you don't feel safe at your point in the game, then don't get the banana farm at that point in the game. It's it's kind of common sense plays into it. So my tips aren't really the best in the world for everyone that just blindly listens. But if you're not going to blindly listen, you're actually going to, you know, listen but participate at the same time, then, you know, you'll know what's best for you. It's, it's really a lot of the time how you set up and uh, how it's going to impact that. Oh, we saved him right there. Yeah, there we go. Now, we gotta start getting prepared for Zeppelin-type balloons, but um, I would suggest, without even like, regarding that, just getting a Super Monkey. Super Monkeys are pretty good. I mean, they're not the best in the world on this map. I think Destroyers might be better on this map, but um, they do do a lot more damage to uh, the Zeppelins, so that's always a plus, especially if you fully upgrade them. And their range is always amazing. And remember the trick, guys, when you get a monkey village right next to it, because it is, in the end, cheaper to get a monkey village around him. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, it costs 1600 for the monkey village, but you save about, about I would say, 1700 in expenses. So you save $100, and you get the bonus of having a further attack radius for every ship in the area. And if you want, you can upgrade every other bonus that's there, and it allows you to upgrade every other single uh, balloon tower that uh, you need to upgrade for a cheaper price. So basically... You save money if you get the Monkey Village. I know it's insane, but get the Monkey Village. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. There we go. So he's fighting them off pretty well now. Uh, we're, we're pretty much set in terms of that. The only thing I don't know is if the uh, Temple God can take out lead balloons. I don't know that. And I say Temple, not Temple God, sorry, the Sun God, which is the third upgrade on the left side for the Super Monkeys. I think he can take out lead balloons, but I'm not quite sure. Now, these guys are called ceramic balloons. I don't mind them as much. They're technically stronger than the lead balloons. The reason I don't mind them as much, though, is because my towers can actually hit them. Uh, the, uh, what is it? When you have lead balloons, the arrow towers don't do any damage to them. Or if they do, it's so minimal that I've been playing this game, probably logged on close to 10 hours, and I haven't noticed anything. So, uh, really, it doesn't do much at all. You need explosives. But the ceramic balloons can be hit by arrow balloons, any kind of balloon tower you want. So, that's the crazy thing. So, that's why I personally... Personally, like the ceramic balloons coming at me more even though they're a lot stronger but um, I'm sure other people disagree especially the ones that uh, sp like spamming missile towers if that's your strategy then I understand why you may disagree with me on that issue but uh yeah, that's Super Monkey. That's why I'd build the Super Monkey right there. Look how much damage he's doing. And also, if you guys really want, you can get that last upgrade so that if you don't want him coming out of spawn at all, they're not going to get out of spawn. So that's really this mission. Uh, overall, even though it's ranked intermediate, I never knew why because personally, it was my easiest mission, mostly because I was always the best with uh, when I would spam those, um, whatever they're called, the, uh, the destroyer ships. But, um, you know, once again, everyone has a different strategy to go through. But, uh, personally, I never understood why anyone would not find this mission easy. Actually, I mean, I shouldn't say that, because it took me, I think, two to three tries to beat this, but still. Well, we're on to wave 50, guys. This is the big wave 50. We pretty much won. So, uh, I guess we could... Uh, no, we're pretty much fine. It's all right. I was going to say, we could, if, if you guys want at this point, if you're just going for the win and not going for a higher round, it'd probably be best just to spam any remaining money you have to make a big ball of spike traps right there. But, uh, yeah, we pretty much had that one in the bag. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed our mission four of our Monkey Balloons Tower Defense, uh, I guess, walkthrough, playthrough, I don't know what you'd call it. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.